In this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to um, rename icons. Because a um, common problem is when you download a theme, the theme that is developed, the icons don't really apply to all the icons that you do have on your iPhone or your iPod Touch. So in order to do this, you need an application called iFile. So right here, um, this theme that I downloaded didn't have an icon for iFile. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to use iFile to find the icon, I guess, just to compromise with the theme. So we're going to log into iFile. Okay, so we're going to start from var. And then stash, and then theme, and basically you have to find the theme that you downloaded. Uh, this is the theme right here. And you just go into the icons of that theme. And you just remembered, um, you gotta match um, letters, whether it's lowercase and uppercase, just to get it to, I guess, flip when you respring. Um, you can always browse through because a lot of um, developers that do make icons, they usually put more than enough in their theme where you, I guess you can pick and choose. So we're just going to browse through. So you can just take a look through any of these icons and just pick out what, basically what's pretty for you. So we're just going to pick any random theme. Let's pick out... Let's use Reader. So this is what Reader looks like. So that's what Reader looks like. So we're going to use that for an iFile icon. So to do that, you just click on the arrow right here next to Reader the yellow and green, click on that, and then basically just highlight over it, and just rename the file really. Okay, so I file, done, done, and you just go back. Okay, go back. So remember, there's the icon iFile. So in order to in order to apply the icon, we gotta respring the iPhone. So we're gonna do that now. So now we're connecting back. So there's the reader icon applied to the iFile application. So there you go. You can download any theme. And if the theme does not cover the icons that you do have, just use iFile select an icon that you do like after previewing it then just rename it very easy i hope this was helpful